Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Hey, I just wanted to go over and revisit Man Portable solar panels again. Hopefully you all remember the Biltima or Harbor Freight 13 watt folding solar briefcase. And of course the Gold Zero Nomad 7 folding solar panel. Now I've had a lot of time to work with both of these to rethink many of the things that I said earlier on. Uh, and give an honest opinion about how I would use either of these. Let's start with the Harbor Freight 13 watt folding solar briefcase. If you were planning to buy this, don't. But if you'd like an alternative to another rigid solar panel, you should check out the Gold Zero Boulder 15 series. It's about the same price, but it's vastly superior to the Harbor Freight model. Now, if you already have one of these, that's perfectly fine. But to make the best of this Harbor Freight folding briefcase solar panel, we'll need to get ourselves an MPPT charge controller. I particularly like the 5 and 10 amp models for lithium batteries. And finally, to complete the system, I'd get rid of the slab and replace it with one of the LifePo 4 lithium batteries, as you see here. It may be a surprise, but I really do like the... Harbor Freight and Biltima 13 watt uh, solar suitcase or briefcase. I really do like it. The only problem with it is its weight uh, and the lack of a good charge controller for it. Um, but we can change those things and make that. Uh, we can make improvements to that. That's no problem at all. So would I carry that in a backpack? No, <laughs> actually not. And especially after... Uh, learning about the Goal Zero and power film and so on. What I would do is use the, uh, the uh, solar briefcase uh, for a base camp or field day location, for example. Uh, if there's some place where I, I have accessibility through with a car or some other type of uh, off-road vehicle to get to where I'm going. And under those circumstances, I would certainly use it with the modifications that I've talked about. So let's move on to the uh, Guide 10 Plus and the Nomad 7 solar panel. Now I really have to say that I couldn't be happier with this setup. And honestly, no one's actually paying me to say that. So after a couple of expeditions with a few kilos too many, I realized that I needed something that was lighter and more efficient than the previous solutions that I've tried. Now the Nomad 7 is already small and lightweight. With the integrated electronics, I didn't have to carry an additional charge controller or electronics. And that was a weight saving of half kilo to a kilo. Of course, I had to come up with a clever off-grid power strategy to make use of this gear, but it all worked out well in the end. If I were going to modify the Nomad 7 in any way, I would simply add a second one and link them together. So let's wrap this up, guys. Uh, Man Portable power for comms uh, is absolutely not a problem for me anymore. I can measure my MAM portable power system uh, in grams rather than kilos now, so I'm really happy about that. The next major MAM portable power challenge that I'm going to have uh, will be applying my MAM portable power strategy uh, during the winter months here in Scandinavia. I took this into account when I made my, my portable power strategy. So I believe I'll be looking at some of the BioLite products for winter. With that said, please like and share. Let other people know what we're trying to do with this channel and help it grow. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Rock and roll. Ciao.